With my recipes, I'm going to show them how to make the most of Cornwall's famous seafood. I'm meeting them at their regular pitch at a farmer's market in Truro, where Cornish produce is everywhere. Nirmal and Louis usually split their time between running the stall, making curry and being parents, so it's rare to catch them together. Hi. Nice to meet you. You know, I found you guys by following the smell of curry, because I couldn't find it, and I was like... And I <laughs> smelt it and I followed it. So Excellent. what have we got? What have we got? Well, this is... Um, we let people try some of the sauces that we make fresh. This is the Thai okay. red sauce okay. that we make. Um, this is a tikka sauce that we make fresh. Mm -hmm. And that's our bolty sauce that we put with chicken, mm. lamb and beef. Or the vegetable curry. This is our vegetable bolty. Okay. We've got five fresh vegetables, local vegetables in there. I, I enjoy them all. We eat them regularly and, and the, the children, children eat them all the time. The corma. Yeah, I enjoy so, so much. Good for them. I know. You know um, we, our corma is really luxurious mm. and our, our customers' children, they really enjoy it. Very nice. Mm. How's that? It's delicious. Thank you. And it's fantastic that you guys are now putting fish on the menu. Yes. That's, that's because you're in the middle of Cornwall and what better place to be? Yeah. That's the ideal step. That's the next step we're looking to do now. Hopefully you give us some guidance. I'm impressed with their curries but want to show them one of mine. A quick and easy shellfish taster. And I'm going to put a bit of onion. Stir-fried spicy Cornish mussels, cleaned and checked, of course, with a coconut and tomato masala. This dish is from Maharashtra, which okay. is sort of the southwestern coast of India, which is where Bombay is. Bombay is in Maharashtra. And it's just really simple flavours, onion, garlic, ginger, tomatoes, and a little bit of garam masala, and that's the only real spice, and just the whole thing is brought to life with coconut. Smells good. It smells lovely. Well, I mean, it's good, it's all flavour, wow. isn't it? See that, Louis? Yes, so now what I'm having for lunch. Yeah, well, hello, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got these fantastic mussels. I'm going to add them straight to the masala. To Otherwise, go. you know, yeah. you can steam and put them in later. Sure. But I won't add them all in. Mussels cook in minutes, and they even let you know when they're ready. The shells pop open to embrace all those delicious juices. As soon as that mussel's open, for me. They're cooked. If they don't open, then don't eat them, as they've definitely gone off. How quick was that? It's so simple. I mean, it's so quick. And all we need to add now is some coconut and some coriander, and we're done. Excellent. I'm adding a good dusting of desiccated coconut and some fresh chopped coriander. I'm partnering up my mussels with some local Cornish bread. Time to dish up. Come on, guys, dig in. I'm going to use my fingers. I think I'm going in with the bread. I think I'm going to follow mm. Louis. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's good, Love. isn't it? Lovely. What do you think? The locals going for it? Totally going for so it. So many fragrances there, isn't there? Mm. Lovely. You can still get all the delicate flavours of the mussel yeah. and have that lovely sauce around it. Yeah. It's very delicious. And as you say, it's really quick and simple to do. It's just so easy. Wonderful. Everything comes out. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs>